हेलो गाइस आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली की कान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द वी एल एस आई टेक्नोलॉजी इन दैट वी आर डिस्कसिंग द एचिंग सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द डिटेल्ड एनालिसिस आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द वेट एचिंग एंड द ड्राई एचिंग द प्रीवियस वीडियोस इफ यू हैव स्टिल नॉट वॉच द प्रीवियस वीडियोज आई रिकमेंड यू स्ट्रॉन्गली टू गो एंड वॉच द प्रीवियस वीडियोज ऑल्सो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ एचिंग फर्स्ट इज केमिकल एचिंग देन वी हैव फिजिकल एचिंग देन वी हैव reactive iron etching so we have two types of mechanism blocking mechanism and the damaging mechanism the blocking mechanism we have the silicon etching and the polysilicon etching for the isolation formation then we have the metal etching in the damaging mechanism we have oxide and the nitride etch so coming to the quick review on the chemical etching so chemical etching is a purely a chemical process where we are using only the chemical reactions okay so the by products are either gases or they are soluble in the etchants okay so that they can be removed easily okay so then it is having the high selectivity isotropic etch profiles are generated high selectivity is an advantage isotropic etch profile is a disadvantage now coming to the examples wet etching and dry strip is the example of chemical etching now coming to the physical etching here we have the bombardment with the inert ions such as argon ions if i have bombardment it will be damaging the surface removing uh, the surface atoms by damaging their bonds with the surface atoms or the inside atoms so the surface atoms are removed when the ions are collided on the surface so it is physically dislodging materials from the surface and it is also a plasma process because plasma is used for the generation of ion bombardment it is the anisotropic process because it is giving me the removal of the etchant only downside its layer okay where it is hitting only that atom will be removed so it is giving me anisotropic profile but it is giving me lower selectivity it cannot distinguish between silicon and silicon dioxide it will remove all of the atoms which are coming below it okay so example is argon sputtering etch now coming to the reactive iron etch ri it is the combination of chemical and the physical etching it is the plasma process the iron bombardment plus free radicals are there okay so the name is misleading it should be called the iron assistant etch okay it uh, is using some chemicals the chemicals reactivity is increased with the help of iron so it is the iron assisted etch so if i am using some chemicals the chemicals reactivity is increased and this is how it is both chemical and the physical process so reactive iron etch is the combination of chemical and the physical etching it is a uh, highly controllable etch rate is generated with the help of uh, reactive iron etch so we are getting anisotropic as well as controllable etch profile with this and also the good and controllable selectivity also so all of these are giving me good advantages of ri so this is the reason all pattern etches are ri process if the patterns are really less okay so if i have small and small feature size in that case only option is rie so here you can see the example here if i am using only argon ion so argon ion is hitting on the silicon sample so it is just the physical process but here i am using xcf2 also so if i am using only xcf2 this is the chemical reaction so here also the re uh, reaction rate silicon etch rate is less if i am using argon ions only so here also the reaction rate is less if i am using xcf2 plus argon ions also so you can see how high we have the etch rate so this is how i can increase the etch rate with the help of rie process so now coming to the comparison first of all the example so in the chemical etching we have wet etching we have stripping rp etching are the Uh, examples RIE we have example the plasma pattern etch in the physical etching we have argon sputtering as the example now etch rate is high to low in the chemical etching it is high and controllable in the RIE it is very low in the in the case of physical etching so this is how RIE is uh now very good as compared to the physical process but it is uh, like not good as compared to the chemical edge because here we have high edge rate also possible now coming to the selectivity in the chemical we have high selectivity in the physical we have very poor selectivity but coming to ri we have reasonable and controllable selectivity edge profile is isotropic in chemical which is not required 
in physical it is anisotropic which is required in rie it is control controllable and it can reach up to anisotropic also the end point can be calculated with the help of time or or by watching it so in the chemical etching by time or visual scenarios give me the end point in the physical etching only by time i can find out the end point in rie only uh, the optical phenomena can be used which is highly accurate so this is the etch process sequence here we have the plasma this is the sheath layer i hope now you understood understand what is the sheath layer if you have still any kind of doubt you can refer the previous video now here this is the boundary boundary layer i am using the chemicals as well as ion bombardment so here we have ion bombardment so here we have some etchant species some chemicals which are used as an etchant also we are having here so etchants are diffused to the surface then we have adsorbed option and the reaction so when the etchant react if the ions are bombarded the reaction rate will be high okay so the by products will be formed the by products will be desorbing from the surface we, here we have the desorption phenomena and they will be diffusing into the convection layer so here we will be having the gas flow so this is the by products that we are having so i hope now you understood the etch process sequence now the profile control we can have the profile control in the case of damaging oxide and nitride in the blocking in the epitaxial silicon polysilicon and the metal so we can have uh, the profile control that can be achieved by using the ion bombardment the ion bombardment will be increasing or decreasing the etch rate or they can be changing the anisotropic profile control as well okay now coming to the damaging mechanism the da in the damaging mechanism we have to damage the surface i am using the heavy ion bombardments so if i am using heavy ions the heavy ions damage the chemical bonds easily so exposed surface atoms are easier to react with the etchants then so okay if i am using let's suppose chlorine to remove the silicon okay so then i will be using the chlorine and the chlorine will be used with the high uh, heavy ion bombardment okay so if i want to remove the oxide layer i will be using chlorine as the uh, etchant and the ion bombardment will be increasing if i have the heavy ion heavy ion bombardment will be increasing the reaction rate the exposed surface atoms are easier to react with the etchant free radicals ion bombardment is mainly in the vertical direction but if i have etchant etchant can be reacting in the anisotropic profile so if i want to increase the isotropic profile i will be using the ion bombardment because it is only in the vertical direction and this is how i am increasing the anisotropic profile in the given uh, substance so etch rate on the vertical direction will be much higher than the horizontal direction and this is how i am getting anisotropic etch so you can see the damaging mechanism here you can see this is uh, the material this is uh, the atoms or molecules that we want to etch out so i will be using the heavy ions here so here we are using the etchants also so etchants will be reacting with this etched atoms okay so it will be removing uh, removing the etched atoms from here so now etchant atoms will be reacting with this atom which is a part of the a part of the substance or material that we want to etch out then ions will be increasing this rate of reaction and we will be having this by product this is the by product okay so here you can see we have the broken bonds okay so these are the exposed atoms so here only we will be having the damaging now coming to the blocking mechanism okay here we are using the uh, not heavy ions we are using some small ions okay so here we have the chemicals which is depositing on the surface then we have the uh, photoresist which is sputtered or the by products of the etch chemical reaction okay then we have ion bombardment which is obviously in the vertical direction it prevents the deposition to build up on the bottom so deposition is there on the side wall only i will be showing you a picture where i will be showing you the deposition on the side wall so etch process is mainly in the vertical direction and deposition will be there on the side wall so you can see here we have the deposition okay so now you can see we have uh, this this is the knocked up away bottom deposition so this is the knocked away bottom deposition it will be going and it will be making the side wall okay so now i hope you understood this is uh, the etchant etchant will be reacting with the atoms and this uh, ions will be increasing the speed so now etchant mechanism and their applications so if i have rie 
RIE we have blocking mechanism, damaging mechanism. So uh, in the RIE, in the blocking mechanism, I have already told you we are using the light ion bombardment. In the damaging mechanism, we are using the heavy ion bombardment. If I have pure physical etching, in the pure physical etching, I am using the only ion bombardment. We am not using any chemical reaction there. Okay, in the pure chemical reaction, I am not using any bombardment. Okay, so now here, uh, if I have blocking mechanism, so here I can have single crystal silicon etch. We can have polysilicon etch. We can have metal etch. In the damaging mechanism, we have oxide etch, nitride etch. Okay, in the pure physical etching, we have sputtering etch. In the pure chemical etching, we have PR photoresist strip etch titanium strip etch and the nitride strip etch. So you can see from here if I want to etch out the blanket layer then I am using the chemical etching. Okay, in the other cases for the pattern making I am using the RIE etching. So benefit of using plasma for etching process. The plasma will be giving me high etch rate, it will be giving me anisotropic etch profile, it will be giving me optical endpoint. So all of these are very crucial benefits. So these are the references. Uh, if you want to discuss this topic in detail, you can refer these books. These are amazing books. If you have still any kind of doubt, you can put the doubt in the comment and I will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please push the like button, subscribe to the channel and also do share it with your friends. Thank you so much.